Hello everyone and welcome back to the final video on this tutorial for advanced genetics. Uh, this video will be showing you um, the abilities that the mod offers, uh, which mob to get them from and what those abilities can do. I'm going to start here by saying that this mod changes the vanilla recipe for the bow and adds its own called the genetic bow and it also changes the way milk works. So no longer can you drink milk to cure yourself of any poison. You have to craft it with a syringe to get yourself an antidote. Also, the mod adds an ability called Infinity, as I'm sure you're all familiar with. And once you give yourself that ability, this genetic bow will fire arrows like vanilla Infinity, except that you do not need an arrow in your inventory. So before I show you the first ability, I'm just going to uh, tell you now that once you have your genetic makeup and you're happy with all the abilities you have it's a good idea to back up your DNA so simply take a blood sample from yourself and centrifuge it like normal and then store this DNA somewhere safe so when you die uh, you you will lose your abilities but because of this uh, storage of DNA you'll be able to get those abilities back straight away. Just a quick note before we begin, uh, quite an important note. Um, each mob has uh, a different rarity value attached to its abilities and the higher that value determines how hard it is to isolate the abilities gene from the mob's skin scale. Uh, these values can be seen on the wiki and I suggest if you're getting a bit frustrated or unlucky to check it out to see how rare the ability that you're trying to isolate actually is. So the first ability I'm going to show you here is from an enderman and it's called save inventory. So craft yourself a death ender chest and place it down into the world and simply right click to link your inventory to the chest. Next thing you should do is let's make sure we have some things in our inventory. So a stack of zombie brains will do. Let's go out here a little bit. And get ourselves killed. See down the left there, right click the death ender chest to link it to yourself. So when you get back to your ender chest, it will have all your items within. The next ability is the teleporter ability. Uh, this again is from an enderman and what it does is allows you to throw an ender pearl out of thin air by pressing the H key. Um, this key is configurable in the Minecraft options controls. The ender health ability is gained from an ender dragon and in conjunction with the heal crystal here it will heal you in a 20 block radius you can break the uh, heal crystal with a right click and the person who placed it is the only person who can break it and as you can see it has a damage value and the crystal itself will shrink as the as it takes more damage so let me just demonstrate quickly the healing ability I was on the right page then I'll go back to there, get a zombie and move away from it, take some damage and approach the crystal. As you can see it heals you quite rapidly. The destroy blocks with fireballs ability is gained from a ghast and it will allow you, if you press B, to shoot a fireball just like a gas can. 
Now the strength of the fireball is exactly the same as a ghast's and will only break blocks that a ghast fireball can break. Again, the uh, key binding is configurable in the Minecraft options. The next ability is shoot fireballs which can be gained from a blaze. Um, this allows you, obviously, to shoot fireballs just like a blaze can by hitting the F key by default. Also that key can be reconfigured in the Minecraft options. Fly is an ability gained from a bat. All this does is it allows you to fly just like you can in creative mode by double tapping space and holding to go up and left shift to come back down. The first ability from the sheep is the eat grass ability and it allows you to simply right click on a piece of grass to refill your hunger. The woolly ability is from a sheep. If it is applied to you, any player can shear you to get some wool. Uh, also, if it's applied to a, a mob or a creature of any type, you be able to gain wool in the same manner. The jump ability is from a horse and this allows you to jump two blocks high. The infinity ability from a skeleton allows you, as outlined at the beginning of this video, to fire infinite arrows from the genetic bow. Notice that there are no arrows in my inventory. The swim in lava ability from the pigman allows you to swim in lava. The chicken's ability, no fall, will stop you from taking damage when you hit the ground from height. The throw potions ability from a witch allows you to throw an infinite amount of potions just like a witch by pressing the P key. Again, this key can be configured in the Minecraft options. The explode yourself ability from a creeper will allow you to explode <laughs> just like a creeper. If you press the default key U eight times, you will commit suicide like a creeper. The slimy ability gained from a slime simply gives you slime balls when that mob or creature with the ability is killed. The ocelot's ability speed gives you a speed boost of 2, speed 2, and allows you to run a little bit faster. The other ability from the ocelot is avoid creepers, which will make creepers move away from you. The infinite milk ability gained from a cow, as you might have seen through my previous videos, will allow you to gain milk from any mob given the gene. Um, also, if you gave yourself this gene, players would be able to right click you and get a bucket of milk also. The more hearts ability from an iron golem will give you five additional hearts on top of your original ten, as you can see at the bottom there we have five orange hearts. The stew ability from a mushroom when applied to yourself or a mob, just like the infinite milk ability, uh, that mob will take the characteristics of a mushroom. So right clicking with a bowl will give you a bowl of mushroom soup. The squids ability, the water breather, will allow you to breathe underwater. I'll just quickly demonstrate this.
as you can see the bubbles are not moving. The wither hit ability gained from a wither will allow you to give an entity the wither effect just by hitting them. As you can see by the wither swirls there. And the final ability resistance from a zombie will give you damage resistance from all mob types just like a potion would here. And that's it for this video. Um, I'm going to thank you for watching and I hope I've given you some useful information. Um, I'm going to leave a, uh, a link to the wiki for advanced genetics and I hope to see you again sometime soon.